guys, we have some really beautiful astrology going on this week. We have all three planets who love to be in the sign of Pisces together in the sign of Pisces. We have Jupiter and Neptune in Pisces, both the rulers of Pisces. They have been in a conjunction for quite a while, as you guys know, but now we also have Venus moving into this mix as well, joining the party, adding herself to the conjunction. Venus is exalted in Pisces. And so this is going to provide some really like high heart compassion based energy that we have going on this week. And we're also building to a new moon in Taurus coming up with the sun currently in Taurus and this new moon in Taurus, which will also be in eclipse. And this is happening again in the sign of Taurus ruled by Venus, who is in this conjunction right now, exalted with these other planets. So we have some really beautiful energy and vibration coming in this week. Let's jump into the report, you guys talk about what we have going on to open our week as we head towards this new moon eclipse that is coming on the 30th. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Today is Monday, April 25th, 2022. My name is Aubrey, and this is your astrological outlook of the day. As I stated in my intro, we are in some real beautiful vibes going on this week. Not only do we have, of course, Jupiter and Neptune still in a conjunction in Pisces, but we have Venus moving into this conjunction as well, while the sun is in the sign of Taurus ruled by Venus. So this, what is going on with Venus in conjunction to Neptune and Jupiter this week is really going to be infused throughout a lot of the energy and the experiences, the vibrations that we are navigating and dealing with because the sun is in the sign of Taurus, which is ruled by Venus. So what is going on with Venus is always important when we're in Taurus season. And right now, Venus is in about the best position that she could probably possibly be in, in a conjunction to Jupiter and in a conjunction to Neptune in the sign of Pisces. Again, all of these three planets absolutely loving being in the sign of Pisces, both in two in their rulership and one in exaltation. Like this is some really beautiful business that we have going on this week. Now to start this week on Monday, we also have the moon transiting Pisces. So we are in like some very intense Pisces energy as we start this week. And as a result of that energy, I'm going to tell you right now may be a bit low. And I don't mean like low vibrational, like negative. I just mean like physical energy. Like we may just not have that like kick, like not just be experiencing like that sense of like get up and go this week. We might feel a lot more just sort of like relaxing and, you know, just chilling out and sort of like connecting or meditating or just laying back and pondering or daydreaming or engaging in some type of like more low key forms of physical activity like yoga or like dancing or just taking some like nice, like slow, peaceful walks or something like that might definitely be more of the vibe that we're dealing with this week. And primarily also, especially today on Monday to start the week, because the moon in Pisces is going to be coming into a conjunction with Mars, who is also in Pisces. We got a lot of planets in Pisces right now, you guys. We have Mars in, at eight degrees of Pisces. We have Venus at 23 Pisces. We have Neptune at 25 Pisces. We have Jupiter at 27 Pisces. And today and tomorrow, we are also dealing with the moon transiting Pisces as well. So there's a lot of Pisces energy going on right now. And again, especially when we consider that we are also having the sun transiting Taurus right now and also Mercury transiting Taurus and Uranus and the North Node in Taurus, all in Venus's sign, who is in the sign of Pisces as well. This puts an even greater emphasis on these this Pisces energy, this Pisces vibration. And I mean, on top of the fact that we also have Jupiter and Neptune in a conjunction in the sign of Pisces, and this is just the Pisces energy expanding ended in and of itself anyways, as a part of this spiritual renaissance that we're essentially going on collectively right now. Jupiter and Neptune together in the sign of Pisces. This is a vastly expanded exposure to spiritual truths and sort of like breaking us out of any illusion that we had been operating under in regards to our perception of the spiritual truths of this reality and allowing us to sort of break ourselves free from some of the more dogmatic belief systems of the past that may have been based in a sense of misunderstanding or confusion or illusion or delusion in some way or another. All these Pisces, um, Neptune themes as well, really bringing the light to where there may have been some confusion in regards to spiritual principles, spiritual realms, and also really triggering this like 
spiritual conscious expansion and desire for connection and awareness that is sparking the spiritual renaissance energy that is going to be carrying us through this year and actually the next like 185 years I think it is until Jupiter and Neptune come back together again in the sign of Pisces and you know that spiritual renaissance sort of kicks off again but that's where we are at in terms of those two planets. Now, adding Venus into the mix. Venus rules love. Venus rules relationships. Venus rules peace. Venus rules balance. Venus rules partnerships. Venus rules money and financial circumstances as well. And also like work partnerships and stuff like that. And also pleasure and beauty and art and music and all of these things coming into, I mean, if we take the sign of Pisces out of it, just Venus coming into a conjunction with Jupiter and Neptune in any sign is going to create a huge creative inspiration and an ability to really channel some really like divine like spiritually inspired works of art there's probably a lot of like really spiritually inspired and based in truth like music art performance that's being that's in the midst of being created right now just collectively as this energy is being sparked and triggered but also this is bringing in and putting an emphasis on relationships and finances. It's bringing us out of the fog of any delusion or illusion that we've been operating under in these areas. And, you know, one thing that we have to watch out for the Pisces energy, this always can work in like polarities, you know, the, the glyph, the symbol, and is even two fish swimming in different directions. And with Jupiter and Neptune, it is in Pisces, you know, this is bringing this tremendous sense of truth to where illusion once was or delusion or fog or mist or confusion. But on the same sense, we have to be careful that we are not over idealizing things or like to the point of actually being pulled into a fantasy or an illusion. So we want to be careful with that in this Venus conjunction with Neptune and Jupiter as well, because it can, on one hand, sort of perhaps pull us into a false sense of spiritual truth in relationships. And I'll talk about more about this in a little bit. But generally, with Venus and Neptune and Jupiter coming together, this is just a very divine expansion of this like high heart energy, like empathy, compassion, like a desire to just do good and be acting out of the higher octaves of our nature and our heart-based center, very much activated in this energy. I do expect like there should be sort of like a wave of peace, honestly, that sort of like washes over the planet in this energy. And, you know, even today with this energy just beginning to activate, Venus starting to move into this conjunction, we have the moon coming into a uh, conjunction with Mars in the sign of Pisces. Now, Mars and Pisces and all this Pisces energy and the moon there too, this is one reason why we may be like struggling a little bit to like get our like physical energy up in this specific energetic blueprint that we have playing out right now. But Mars in a conjunction with the moon in the sign of Pisces, this energy, like aside from Venus and Jupiter and Neptune, that is bringing this expanded sense of like desire for peace and like wholeness and understanding and empathy and compassion and spiritual connection. Mars in the moon in Pisces, this also brings actually like an active desire to avoid any type of conflict. And in a lot of cases, you know, this is definitely not a good thing because it can cause us to really just want to like stick our head in the sand and like avoid dealing with any issues or having to assert ourselves in any way or like confront any type of difficulty or anything like that. But just in the context of this other energy that is present right now and that seems to be playing out, it's like there's an active like desire to disengage in like any type of aggressive behavior going on as well so like on one hand venus this venus energy this peace energy being expanded by jupiter and like through the spiritual connection neptune and then on the other hand simultaneously like at least today with the moon in conjunction but also just with mars and pisces generally there's also the simultaneous like active effort to not have to assert ourselves or to not have to face confrontation or to engage in any type of like dispute or battle or conflict or anything like that. So I do feel like, you know, today over this week, like there should be a sense of general, just like peace and a desire to like negotiate and to like end or avoid or just sort of like sidestep some type of conflict that may be going on. Or I do feel like this should pacify things 
to some extent, probably a pretty great extent over this next couple of days, especially again with the moon and Mars today, but just Mars and Pisces generally. And while we have this playing out and again with the sun also in the sign of Taurus and moving to this new moon in Taurus where Venus is going to be exalted. This whole Taurus cycle actually may, we may see just like um, an ease of tension, an ease of aggression, a pacif pacification, is that the word? Pacif pacifying, like maybe some situations that have been characterized more through aggression, like up until this point. So that is what we have going on this week. That is something to talk about. This moon specifically in Pisces today, again, coming to the conjunction with Mars, this is definitely Mars and the moon together. Now, again, like it's depending on the sun, but when we have Mars and the moon together, this is our emotions, the moon, like what's going on inside of us, our feelings. And a lot of times when we have Mars and the moon coming together, this can really like have us fired up about something, like ready to get up and go, like ready to take some action, like, or just feeling like emotionally impulsive to like do something or to act or behave in some type of way to like exert some type of energy this like just like sort of this fired up feeling within us wants us to like take some action a lot of times in some type of way but again being the sign of Pisces this is a definitely more of a chilled out Mars vibe and it's more of this active avoidance type of energy when it comes to anything you know just those Mars generally like more Mars oriented areas of life like having to be assertive or having to stand up for yourself or take action like we may just sort of be taking a back seat or feel like taking back seat more in this energy but it also might be pushing us to like really want to put some energy into like more spiritual matters or really focus our energy more towards our spirituality or spiritual connection at this time much less ego-based energy as well that we have going on over this period of time again not only do we have jupiter neptune and now venus coming together in the sign of pisces but with mars and pisces as well this is definitely a more of a compulsion to act out of a place of like altruism and compassion over like our personal ego based drives and energies less ego in this energy for sure but again it can also make us a bit like low energy like kind of like not necessarily like lazy but it's like we just don't have, feel like we have the energy to be as active as we may normally be and again like things like stretching and yoga and like dance or pilates or just like walking you know slowly jogging like stuff like that we're probably going to feel a little bit more drawn to in this energy and not so much like you know going for a run or doing some like really like being really dynamic and active in our activity exercise or in our exercise and stuff like that like going and taking that like super long hike or like running that marathon or something maybe feeling like a little bit turned off to it just because of all of this much more low-key energy because that is truly what it wants us to be doing right now with Jupiter and Neptune together and also Venus there we're really in a period of cultivating our spiritual connection and really like turning inwards and discovering the deep truth the deep truths within us and the deep truths outside of us the deep truths of this reality and of you know our 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 spirit the spiritual realms that exist around us and just feeling like this call and this yearning to be more self-reflective more sort of just like experience a sense of connection to the higher powers that you know are governing our existence and to understand them better and to be more immersed in them and to have them play more of an active role in our daily experience actively see Seeking out spiritual guidance, spiritual truths. That may be more so where our energy is actually geared as Mars is transiting the sign of Pisces, especially when we have Venus and again, like I said, Jupiter and Neptune also together in Pisces. But this is also highly, highly, highly creative energy. And today, too, with Mars in the conjunction to the moon, this is our feelings, this is our intuition, like very strong energy to be able to create from a divinely inspired place and with Venus and Neptune and Jupiter in Pisces while the sun is in Taurus, like putting creative energy into the projects that we're working on right now is very, very highly supported in this energy. The next thing that I want to talk about, uh, which I guess I've been talking about this whole time, is specifically this Venus moving into the conjunction with Neptune and Jupiter. They are all two degrees apart today. It's sort of like a Neptune sandwich right now with Venus on one side, Jupiter on the other side. Neptune is the exact midpoint. Venus is at 23 degrees of Pisces today. Neptune's at 20 
25, Jupiter is at 27, and so they are all just sort of hugging there close together while the Sun and all of these planets are simultaneous, Mercury, Uranus, North Node simultaneously in the sign of Pisces, or Taurus, sorry, ruled by Venus, and we are moving towards this new moon that we have coming up. Again, this is really like beautiful energy. This is about as good as it gets in terms of astrology. Jupiter and Venus, Jupiter and Venus just on their own together. This is like uh, one of the best aspects that there is in astrology. And then we throw Neptune in there and also put it in the sign of Pisces during Taurus season. This is some really beautiful energy. We need to, as I said earlier, like just something to watch out for aside from all of this very, very creative energy that is bringing these divine connections. Like we talk about this two, two, two year and these miracles that are trying to come to us and these divine, um, like connections and partnerships and these opportunities and these unlimited possibilities that are trying to make their way to us as a result of this vibrational shift that we're going through. Like this is very much so being activated in this energy and will be throughout this Taurus cycle with this configuration of planets that we have going on in the sky right now. And on the side, as I mentioned a bit earlier, of these divine connections that are coming in and these partnerships and these opportunities and these possibilities and the things that we are realigning ourselves with after we are going through this shift and this rebirth and we are seeing these truths and we are understanding and discovering these things and getting back in alignment with our authentic truths and like tapping our inner potential and really cultivating our gifts and our talents and our abilities so that we can really use them as like a means to help us build our new lives going forward after, you know, a lot has been falling and breaking down that is just no longer in alignment with us. Well, these are the aspects that are very much trying to activate these connections, these alignments, these opportunities, these possibilities. This is also amazing energy for manifestation too. This new moon in Taurus is going to be a powerhouse, uh, new moon for really being able to see some our, our heart's greatest desires, like what we truly want and what we truly wish for with Jupiter and Neptune and Venus together in the sign of Pisces. Like it really is make dreams into reality energy coming up with this new moon and Taurus cycle. And this energy, like I said, is being activated with these conjunctions that we're moving into this week. But one thing that we do want to watch out for is deception in relationships, because I can tell you when Jupiter and Neptune come together, especially in the sign of Pisces, this can also create like those sort of rose colored glasses, especially with Venus, there, ruling relationships. Be careful with investments. Be careful with business partnerships. Be careful with getting into relationships, making them, doing it too hastily right now is what we want to watch out for and like missing or overlooking any type of red flags that may be presenting themselves because, you know, we are dealing with the Pisces archetype and this always goes two ways. And while on one hand, these divinely aligned connections and opportunities truly are trying to come in, we need to make sure that we are not falling for something that is appearing to be those, but is actually more of like sort of a universal test and whether or not we will be able to pick out and decipher like if what is presenting itself at this time is truly true or if it is based in some type of an illusion. That's another thing that's sort of happening in this energy as we have Jupiter and Neptune coming together, trying to reveal a lot of longstanding secrets essentially to us. The way that we are figuring these things out in this energy is almost through the illusions becoming so like profound and like so in our face that we have no like choice except for to begin to see like the cracks in the facades at this point in time. And so we really want to be careful with things that are presenting on the surface as just being way too good to be true or way too spiritually in a line or like this is just in, you know, it, it just almost to the point where it just seems too perfect. You know what I mean? Because it's those scenarios where universe is asking us to look for the cracks, to be able to see through, you know, the facades, to be able to see truth through illusion and to be able to decipher what's real and what's not based on some really beautiful presentations that may be, or projections or images that may be uh, being, you know, presented to us in this energy as well. And it's like, 
that is how we're learning these lessons. So we really want to be careful as well not to be deceived by false images or false presentations that seem too good to be true or just too perfect in this energy because that is an aspect of things right now as well. So really, it's very important in this energy. We are all learning to have a much greater and better and stronger relationship to our, our own intuition. And it's just really important in this energy that we are paying attention to our gut, that we are not attaching to idealized versions of things. And like our soul will know, like our intuition will know, like there won't be any red flags if this is one of those situations, one of those connections that is divine finally coming to us at this point in time. So just very important to be aware of that in this energy, again, as it can work both ways, but this energy simultaneously also is definitely trying to bring us in alignment with what is going to lead to our greatest fulfillment. But in regards, again, to the relationship dynamic and component of this energy, our job in this energy right now is to be gaining and developing a better relationship to ourselves based on the recognition of the truth of the value, all this Taurus energy that we have going on inside of us right now in the North Node and Taurus as well, and simultaneously developing and cultivating a stronger relationship to God, universe, spirit, the divine, with Venus, Jupiter, and Neptune together. That is how this relationship energy should be being utilized right now to maximize our ability to attract these divine relationships, these divine alignments, these opportunities, these partnerships, these blessings with minimal illusions presenting themselves to us first, sort of. We need to keep the focus on cultivating and developing the relationship to ourselves and our own value and our own sense of self-empowerment and simultaneously our relationship to God, divine, higher power, higher spirit. And then as a result of that energetic shift going on within us and those relationships becoming solid, that will brought, draw in, bring in the real true relationships that are going to bring us that fulfillment. But what we don't want to be doing in this energy is getting caught in an illusion or caught in a fantasy of a relationship that is presenting that seems to be a certain way on the surface and feeling and thinking because this is happening in this energy that this is this spiritual divine counterpart or match or partner or work relationship or financial whatever that we are supposed to be in right now despite any again these red flags or these like little like intuitive you know like feelings that are coming up. We really don't want to overlook those. And we really want to keep it real with a relationship to ourselves first and foremost, and also actually first and foremost, God and the divine, but also the relationship to ourselves, because this is what is going to keep us on track for bringing in what is real and true and going to bring that sense of like ultimate fulfillment, long-term lasting fulfillment as well in this energy. So all of that, but this is again, really seeing the truth in relationships as well, busting through the illusions that we may have been operating under in these relationships, again, through things presenting themselves in just such a overblown way that we're like, no, there is no way that's true. Like I can't possibly believe that. And then we begin to question everything. And then it just sort of changes our perception and we wake up to a lot. This is all, we're also in the midst of a massive collective conscious awakening right now. But also, again, this energy, highly, highly creative, very, very good for any type of artistic pursuits, highly compassionate, highly empathetic, highly altruistic, very much desiring, like desiring with Venus there to, to help, to be supportive, to be of service. And that is also some beautiful energy going on, especially considering we're now in Black Moon and Cancer energy as well, which may be bringing up feelings of being unsupported or underappreciated or, um, not cared for properly or just not, you know, cared about to the extent that we feel that we should be, this energy may be countering that as well. There's a lot going on that is really trying to like restore our heart in this energy, like really bring us back to a place of self-love, self-value, self-worth, which with the North Node in Taurus right now as well is actually the next phase in our growth and development at this point in time as we transition into the age of Aquarius and go through this energetic shift that is really trying to bring us, trying to help collectively bring us to a point of self-mastery, self-understanding, self-knowledge, and an ability to co-create with God and spirit. That's how things are happening. And that is what we're moving into as we move into this new age. And this is all happening, you guys. This 222 year is huge. And we are in some very important moments of this energy as it's unfolding. Another aspect of the chart today, you guys, is that Venus is in an exact 
sextile to the north node of the moon who is in her sign of Taurus who I've referenced in this chart as well this is bringing that aspect of fate and destiny into it I've been talking about these divinely aligned connections that are trying to come to us as of this 222 year well today we actually have Venus in an exact sextile I don't know if I said trying just a minute ago. If I did, I meant sextile. Sextile, which is a supportive aspect. This facilitates things and it assists things to happen. And, you know, if we are acting out of that high heart place and really coming back to this place of self-love within us and seeing our worth and seeing our value, like we are having experiences right now that are trying to help activate that within us very much so. And as a result of that, interactions, the way that we are relating with other people, connections coming in right now, also with Mercury still in a conjunction to the North Node, conversations, interactions that we are having with others right now, probably likely to be quite faded, quite destined in one way or another, necessary for our growth, necessary for this revision of ourselves that we are under right now as we are re-recognizing that value, that worth, that self-love that we have within us that is helping us to shift, also helping us to see the resources within us as well and all of our potential and all of our gifts and helping us to really, through this spiritual connection as well, figure out how we can tap into that potential, all of this divine inspiration so that we can use it in one way or another to help us navigate this path moving forward that may need a little bit of reconstruction after what we may have been through, what we may have experienced lately as the things that are no longer in authentic alignment with us are truly been falling out of just falling out, falling out of the ways, falling out of the legs, falling out of the relationships, falling out of the circumstances, because moving into this age of Aquarius energy, everything needs to be in authentic alignment. And everything that is not in authentic alignment or can't get into authentic alignment, it just can no longer sustain because it is hindering growth. And we can't have that as we are moving into this age of self-mastery and the growth that is required in order to get there. So all of that going on today too, again, faded relationships, faded conversations, maybe in the air Today. And I want to talk about the Sabian symbols for a minute because there are also some Sabian symbols in effect today that are kind of playing right into what we have going on in terms of the aspects. So number one today, interesting, we have the position of the earth today at six degrees of Scorpio. The earth, what's happening on the ground, the state of things on the ground. That Sabian symbol for six degrees of Scorpio is a gold rush tears men away from their native soil. This to me is talking about us getting back in touch with that inner value, rediscovering that like gold of our own soul, that self-worth, that self-value, that self-love that the energy really right now is pushing us to reconnect with and gain a better relationship to rediscovering that and really sort of tearing ourselves away, leaving in the past a lot of the things that didn't recognize that or weren't in support of that or kept that from being acknowledged or kept us from seeing the truth of that value, really coming to a point where we are willing to cut ties and to walk away from the things that are keeping us from aligning with the truth of our value, the self-empowerment that comes from that and the ability to rise into our authentic truth and our authentic potential and activate destiny as a result, a gold rush tears men away from their native soil. I feel like we are following the truth of our authentic purpose, our authentic value, our soul's calling in this energy. And this is speaking about the position of the earth today. And it makes sense to me with all of this Pisces energy, all of this Taurus energy that we have going on that is talking about gaining this greater spiritual connection to God and universe, this relationship with the divine, and simultaneously this relationship to our own value, the gold that we have inside of us. Coming off of of this past weekend that we had actually, which there was a lot of emphasis on rediscovering our own value that was going on on Saturday over the weekend as well. So interesting that that is what we're coming into on Monday for the position of the earth. Number two, we have Mercury currently in Taurus, still in a conjunction to the north node of the moon, still these dust and conversations, interactions, information, things that we're learning, things that we're talking about, discovering, seeing, going on as well. That Sabian symbol is 26 Taurus, where Mercury is today. A Spaniard serenading his senorita. Again, to me, this is like a very Venetian degree. And I feel like it's talking about this enhanced ability. This is Mercury at this degree 
this is Mercury at this degree. And I do feel like this is referencing this theme of just like this love energy, this compassion energy, this high heart energy that's just abounding in the like energetic field today, especially with the moon and Pisces as well. Like whereas we there may have been a lack of affection going on over the past couple days with the moon in conjunction to Pluto, the moon in conjunction to Saturn, some more of these difficult squares that we had going on this week, it is probably going to be like all the lovey dovey business affection and Mercury at this degree too. I feel like people are definitely going to be like in their fields and sort of talking about it today in this with what we have going on in the chart and Mercury. Yeah, people may be like confessing their feelings in one way or another with what we have in the degree of Mercury today. Also, the degree of Venus today, you guys, too, 23 degrees of Pisces, a materializing medium giving a seance. What was I saying about cultivating the connection to spirit, cultivating the connection to higher power, cultivating the connection to the divine and this divine inspiration that is available to us, spiritual guidance, like crazy amounts of psychic spiritual connection energy that is available to really help us in discovering that value, in figuring out, like this is amazing energy for sort of like brainstorming and like getting in alignment with our talents and our gifts and our potential and like really channeling some divine inspiration and figuring out how we can use them to serve the greater good, to like be of service to humanity. Not only is this is where we're going in terms of like using our own resources as we head into the age of Aquarius, the age of self-mastery, but also in this Pisces energy, there is just like this altruism and this desire to serve and assist and this is really good energy for figuring out how we can manifest or create something for ourselves based on our own talents that we have within us and a way that we can channel or use them coming almost from this place of spiritual inspiration. Again, a materializing medium giving a seance. There is just divine assistance that is available for us today in our pursuit of recognizing the truth of the value that we hold inside of us and what it represents for the state of fulfillment that we have the potential to experience externally as well. We have Mars today still at eight degrees of Pisces, a girl blowing a bugle. This again, to me, a girl blowing a bugle, this is just like Venus in this conjunction, in all her exaltation while well, she has all these planets in her sign heading towards her new moon. These Venus themes are so strong right now. And I feel like this is just talking about this Venus energy that is sort of like flooding the like just flooding all of the world right now with this big wave of this like Venetian love, peace, like pleasure energy and music and art and just a uh, desire to like relate and to socialize and to connect like just all of this beautiful Venus energy a girl blowing her bugle like I feel like we're headed for a period of peace and more pleasant like stuff going on generally beauty at this point in time over this next couple of weeks with all of this in effect uh what else we also have the north node also in Taurus I want to read that saving symbol too this is the destiny point this is the next phase of growth this is the lesson plan this is where we're headed this is what we're supposed to be learning right now a jewelry shop filled with valuable gems re-recognizing the value discovering the valuable gems that we hold in inside of us and what that represents for us and our ability to create abundance externally. When we realize the value that we hold inside of it and what that, again, what that represents, it gives us, it empowers us to understand and create a way to manifest that value externally as well in the form of some type of abundance that can give us some stability or some fulfillment in one way or another with Venus at this degree again with all of this like I really feel like this energy right now is pushing towards a re-recognition of the value the worth and the love that we hold inside of us and that is really actually huge on a vibrational level in helping us move forward into this age of Aquarius energy and the last degree I wanted to say is and it's also funny with that going on, that North Node degree and the degree of the earth today, the gold rush as well. Definitely this emphasis on value, which also you guys could be putting an emphasis on like money, financial markets, economies. We can't forget the other tourist themes, like the resources, the supply chains, the food, like all of that stuff like that could be undergoing some major shifts and major changes right now as well, especially with uh, Uranus in Taurus as well. Those are things and themes that could be coming up in this energy very much so as too. There could be some definite things going on with with money, resources, financial markets, food supplies, food chains, like all of that type of stuff as well. 
So I don't want to forget to mention that, but this gold rush, like there is a huge emphasis on just rediscovering and moving towards this value at this point in time. And we also have the sun right now today at six degrees of Taurus. That Sabian symbol is a bridge being built across a high narrow gorge. So this is also talking about bridging a gap. Like we are moving forward in a new direction. We are reconstructing a way forward to help us traverse something that, you know, could be like quite dangerous or quite daunting this high narrow gorge it's like we are building the bridge from the age of pisces into the age of aquarius and the way that we are doing it the way we are escaping the peril that may lie beneath you know or as a metaphor for this like decomposing destructing like matrix and past age right now like how we avoid maybe the pitfalls or um the difficulties that could be it that could be present at this point in time as well is by building this bridge is by tapping this these resources is by recognizing this value is by you know going on this gold rush right now in search of the valuable gems that are held within our own jewelry store and again using that in one way or another tapping those resources and figuring out how we can utilize that to like build something productive externally for ourselves that can provide us some type of buffer, some type of cushion, or some type of bridge over the high narrow gorge or the deconstructing matrix around us, which may be presenting some just more turbulent, uh, some, I don't know what you would say, like maybe some like obstructions to our path or just make our path a little bit more bumpy as we are heading throughout this year, because this is a really beautiful year. This 2022 year is trying to bring a lot of gifts and a lot of blessings. But on the flip side, there is a lot that is simultaneously crumbling with this. And that is really why it's our very important for us right now. And, you know, really one of our fundamental jobs is to learn how to use our mind properly and how to maintain our vibration and how to use our imagination and our thoughts and our connection to spirit in a way that can help us restore that value, come back into our power, gain mastery over our experiences and really begin to co-create so that we are not as affected by the things that may be falling at this point in time. So there it is, guys. That is what I have to say for the astrology and what we have going on with the chart today. Let's talk about the tarot cards for a minute. Got a, card, a couple cards coming out of the deck this morning. Really pretty interesting in the context of the message that's going on for the astrology. Now, the cards that we had coming out, first of all, we had the six of pentacles. And then we had the two of pentacles. And then we had the two of cups. And then we had the five of swords. And then on the back, we had the three of wands. And essentially, in a nutshell, what this boils down to for me is considering the balance of power in relationships and financial dynamics and reconsidering what we want, essentially. Now, let's break that down. First of all, we're talking about the six of pentacles. This is a card about a give and take. He's got the skills. This is about some type of balance. This is about uh, reciprocity, essentially give and take. Is there an equal give and take? Is anyone holding power over anyone else? This is the dynamic. And then it's interesting because then after that, we got two, two cards. We got the two of pentacles sort of balancing these pentacles back and forth also. And then we got the two of cups. This to me is also sort of like they're, they're, is a card of balance and reflection. They are sort of mirroring each other in this energy. And then with the five of swords, this is a card about stealing power. And with the three of wands, this is a card about really like thinking about things, like really pondering about things, like making plans for our future, like really staring out onto the horizon and like thinking about what move we want to make next, what direction we want to go in. And so when I put these cards together, to me, this is reading like we are sort of in a place right now of questioning or asking, is there an equal give and take in any given situation? Am I giving more than I'm receiving? Is there reciprocity in this situation? Is there balance? Is someone holding power over someone else? Like unbalanced power def uh, power differentials or whatever you would want to say going on. Like, are things fair essentially in this dynamic? And then, you know, really sort of juggling this. And this could have to do with resources and financial situations, or this could have to do with love relationships or partnerships or companionships or friendships. These are the two things that are being highlighted. It's like, you see these two people here in like the scales, like we're wondering, 
is the balance of power that's going on right now in either finances or relationships. Is it fair or is someone stealing power? Is someone like really dominating the connection? Is someone using the connection as a way of like getting energy or taking power in one way or another? And then with this card on the back of the deck, the three of wands on the back of the deck, it's like we're really thinking about it and we're really reconsidering what we want, what direction we want to take, what path we want to take next. Like if we want to continue to pursue these relationships, if we want to make a change, like we're really seriously considering what we want to create with the with like this sense of enlightenment or with just this like realization that we may be coming to right now. But that's definitely what is coming up in the cards today, you guys. And again, like it makes sense in terms of this Jupiter, Neptune, Venus energy, which is trying to show us the truth about anywhere we may have been operating under some type of an illusion in the context of relationships or partnerships or financial circumstances and situations. If there has been an unfair balance of power, if someone has been stealing power, power, stealing energy, stealing resources from the other person in the situation. And this is primarily relating to pairs and the, you know, twos, like there's the two guys in this card. And then these are both, these are both twos. So specifically in regards to financial situations, these Venus themes, financial situations, partnerships and relationships, really trying to starting to see it for what it truly is. Is this a fair situation is my energy are my resources is my love truly being reciprocated or is am i discovering that someone is stealing power and what am i going to do now what am i going to do next what path do i want to go down so that is what we have going on in terms of the tarot that's coming through today in correspondence to the astrology so pretty interesting there as well now let's grab us a synchronicity card see oop there we go okay we got two cards coming out today and they are both oh my gosh like absolutely so relevant the first card that we got says forget the past the second one says dream dreams also you guys i should say i should have said this already but we really really need to pay attention to what is going on in our dreams we could be getting some very very uh important significant messages and stuff coming through in dreams and also doing a lot of work in dreams right now to release some things that may have been holding us back but for sure there could definitely be some information coming through in our dreams that is trying to wake us up to something actually or trying to help us see the truth in something so we should pay, pay very close attention to what is going on with our dreams in this energy but let's read the first one it says forget the past do not be conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind romans 12 2 give up your worldly beliefs and learn the truths of life literally like especially with mars also in pisces right now this is where we're at give up your worldly beliefs and learn the truth of life feed your subconscious mind with life-giving patterns accept the positive aspects of god and let go of all the negativity forget the past get on with the future in this way your spirit will gradually grow and you will reach your goal this is absolutely perfect advice for what we have playing out astrologically in this energy and what we may be navigating right now and what universe truly wants us to do. The next card says dream and shout for joy all ye who are upright in heart. Psalms 30 to 11. Your biggest joy will be in the knowledge that you have overcome setbacks and disappointments. Be persistent, believe in your dreams, and continue going forward. God does not give us a dream without also giving us the means to attain that dream. And what did I say, you guys? This Taurus cycle that we are moving into right now is the cycle of turn your dreams into reality. Create your dreams on earth. Like, through the process of manifestation, imprinting on our subconscious mind, through our imagination, what we truly desire, want with Venus in the conjunction to Neptune and Jupiter in Pisces to experience, having faith in that process, acting on our faith, preparing for it, preparing for the things that we want to come into our lives, really feeling it and believing it and existing in it emotionally before we see it in the 3D. Like we are 
in an amazing window period to dream our dreams into reality and to manifest our heart's true desires in this energy and moving into this new moon in Taurus. So I'm going to stop talking now, but dream and forget the past are the messages from the synchronicity cards today that God wanted us to hear and to know and to carry with us. So that's what we got today, you guys. Message from the stars, message from the cards. I hope that you liked this message. I hope I was able to provide something for you guys that can give you something in navigating your path today that can benefit you somehow. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends if you think that they would be interested. Leave me comments, you guys. I absolutely love, love, love your comments. I love you all so much. Thank you guys so much for being here. Um, I have a Facebook page, a Facebook group, an Instagram, a TikTok, and a website. Those are in my description box below and come back with me tomorrow, you guys. We're going to have more beautiful energy to talk about most likely as we are headed towards this new moon in Taurus that is coming up. So I'm going to be here. You should be here too. You don't want to miss it. And I will see you tomorrow. Have a beautiful day, everybody. And you know, today I really truly mean that very literally because things are likely to be quite beautiful. See you later, guys. Bye.